Hello, researchers. Uh, welcome back to our channel. So today we will be talking about uh, our first statistical tool, which is mean. Let us remember the objective and conceptual paradigm of our, of our um, research. Our objective, first and second objective, is to describe the level of independent variable or our dependent variable for, for uh, objective number two. Or as uh, some of you, to describe the extent of independent variable or the level of dependent variable. So we will be using mean for that objective one and objective two. And second, we need to remember our independent or dependent variable. So on, on right here, my example is the independent variable and the indicator. So I, I have indicator one and indicator two right here, depending on your variable so if you have indicator one to five that's indicator one to five or what's the name of that indicator or indicator one to 20 and what's the name of that indicators right here so that's the thing that we need to remember so let's go directly to our to our excel so right here here, if you can see, this one right here is the questions. Um, we will assume that this table right here is the table for indicator, indicator one. So right here is the questions, the number of questions. So for example, um, for indicator one, or for your first indicator of your variable, you have questions one to 10 or questions one to seven. So you will write question one to seven or question one to 10. So my example right here, I have five questions only. So on a, the number of respondents that depend on your, on your sample size. So for example, uh, by grade level po kayo or by section po kayo ng isang grade level. So my, my sample right here is just 10. 10 students, but I know for sure that um, your, your respondents may be 100 plus or, or, or 200 plus. So this will be one to 200 plus or one to 100 plus uh, number of respondents. So my sample right here is just 10, but you can make it um, you can complete all your, your the, the number of respondents. So let's start. Um, for question one, for question one, respondents one answered five. Answered five. For question two, respondents one answer four. For question three, uh, respondent one answer four. Respondent uh, one answer question four four, and respondents one answer question number five four. So we assume that they they check five four 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 on their research apps uh, on their survey questionnaire and so on. Um, respondent two answer all five on your question one to five. Um, respondents three answer question one, three, question two, four, question three, four, uh, question four, four, and question five as three. So, and so on. How are we going to, to solve for the mean? So here, if we want to know the mean per questions, so we will, um, Palalakihin natin. My God. Um, let's make it 36. So for example, 
um, type equal sign, then type sum, uh, right here, sum, then highlight, close parenthesis, then enter. So that's a 43. So the total, if we will add 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4, that's equal to 43. So how to solve for mean? So equal sign, hi, uh, highlight, or choose this one, the cell L4, 43, divided by the number of respondents, which the number of respondents right here is 10. Let's try to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number of respondents is 10. So the mean for question number one is 4.3. Set. We will try to drag, drag this one. So the total number for total score for question number two is 43. For question number three, that's 38. For question four, that's 39. And question five, that's 37. Let's drag this. So the mean for question two is 4.3. Mean for question three is 3.8. Mean for, uh, for question four is 3.9. Mean for question five is 3.7. So that's the mean. Uh, how about if we, uh, we want to know the mean of that that indicator, that certain indicator. So the whole mean of this indicator. So what are we going to do? We'll try to sum all the means. Let's sum all the means. So this one right here. So that's 20. So it's equal to um, 20 divided by the number of questions, which is a five. One, two, three, four, five. So the mean for uh, the whole indicator is four. So one. So this is our our answer. So later on, we will try to know what's the essence of this number for to your um, to your discussion on on um, table two of chapter uh, chapter three. Table two of chapter three. How about if you want to know the mean per? Uh, oh. You want to know the mean per respondents. So it's all the same. Um, type equal sign, equal sign, sum, uh, no. sum of this, that's 21. So if we will solve for the mean, that's, um, 21 over over 5 so that's 4.2 we'll try to drag here so the mean for um, respondents one got a mean of 4.2 for all the five questions um he answered 4.2, yung mean niya. And since um, respondents to answer all five for all questions, so the mean is five, automatic five. And same as to respondents five. So how are we going to solve for the mean if, if this one, you consider this one, how are we going to solve for the mean? How are we going to solve for the mean? So we will add some. 
this one right here. So that's 40. Um, that's the summation of all mean. Then 40, we will divide it with how many persons, how many respondents? That's 10. So the mean again is 40. For the whole um, indicator, first indicator of the variable, of the independent variable, first indicator is four. Again, if we will try to solve this, this one, some, this one right here, so that's 20 equals 20 divided by the number of questions, which is five. So the answers are both, the answers are both four, meaning we will try to um, solve for the mean this side, the answer is four, for this side, the answer is four. So the mean for this indicator right here is four. So on your parameter limit, um, you will know the level of your first indicator based on your parameter limit. So four, I think this is very high. So that's it for our um, statistical tool means. See you on the next lesson.